Hi everybody, welcome to Rude English. Today we're going to be discussing compound nouns and compound adjectives. Compound words are very common in English, but they can be confusing if you don't understand how they're formed. So we're going to look at some famous examples from films. We're going to discuss how they are constructed and why are they important. So don't go away. A compound word is two or more words which join together to create a new word with a different meaning. Any type of word can join with another word, and you're probably already familiar with lots of them. For example, any more is formed from the words any and more, or however formed from how and ever, into formed from in and to. Adjectives and nouns contain the most compound words, and new ones are being created all the time, as we need new words to describe new ideas and new objects. Let's take a look at the first example now. Number one, step forward. Hand me the keys, you fucking cocksucker. Number two, step forward. Give me the fucking keys, you fucking cocksucker motherfucker! Knock it off, get back. Number three, step forward. <laughs> How many the keys, you cocksucker? In English, please. Excuse me. In English. How many the fucking keys, you cocksucker? What the fuck? Number four, step forward. It was bullshit. The whole rap was a setup. Hand me the keys, you fucking cocksucker. It was all the cops' fault. You don't put guys like that into a room together. Who knows what can happen? Hand me the keys, you fucking cocksucker. That was a famous scene from the film The Usual Suspects, where the suspects had to repeat the phrase, Give me your keys, you cocksucker. Cocksucker is a compound noun and it's formed by combining the two nouns cock and sucker. And this is one way in which we can create compound nouns, by placing a word before a noun. We can also place words before prepositions, such as breakdown. And we can put words before the present participle or gerund, such as train spotting. And we can put words before adjectives such as handful. What do you notice about the stressed words in these examples? The first word is usually the stressed word in compound nouns. There are no clear rules for writing compound nouns. Usually when they're first created they are open, meaning the two words are separate, and later on they may become hyphenated or joined. You should refer to a good dictionary for guidance on spelling. The example we saw earlier probably doesn't appear in any dictionary, so it can be spelled either way. Be careful! Some words have different meaning depending on the spelling. For example, green house describes a house that is coloured green. But greenhouse describes a special glass house which is designed for growing plants. To make a compound noun plural, just add an S to the most important word. For example, greenhouses. Let's look at the next movie clip. Enough is enough! I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane! Everybody strap in! I'm about to open some fucking windows. That was a famous scene from the film Snakes on a Plane, where Samuel L. Jackson's character exclaims that he has had it with the motherfucking snakes. Motherfucking is a compound adjective formed by placing the noun mother before the present participle fucking. And this is one way in which we can create compound adjectives by placing a word before the present participle or gerund. We can also put words before nouns, such as last minute. 
And we can put words before adjectives, such as ice cold. And finally, we can put words before the past participle, such as well known. Spelling is important when using compound adjectives. Take a look at this example. I saw a man eating shark. In the first sentence, the words are joined with a hyphen, and it describes a shark which is capable of eating a man. Whereas in the second sentence, there is no hyphen, and it describes a man eating shark meat. As a general rule, we always spell compound adjectives with a hyphen when we use them before a noun. So why are compound nouns and adjectives important? They're important because this is one way in which new words are created in English. Compound nouns and adjectives are often created in technical or colloquial language before entering mainstream English. So understanding compound nouns and adjectives can help you to understand technical language. For example, the other day I discovered a new word, bore out. Bore out is a compound noun created by placing the verb bore before the preposition out. And it describes how people are forced to quit their job due to extreme boredom. Essentially, it's the opposite of burnout, which describes how people are forced to quit their job due to extreme stress. Compound words can also help us to understand colloquial language. For example, gold digger describes a woman who marries a man just for his money. And cradle snatcher describes a man who has a very young girlfriend. You probably won't find these words in any dictionary, but they are common colloquial phrases. Finally, as you saw earlier, Compound nouns and adjectives are often used in creative swearing, in phrases such as motherfucker or cocksucker. That's the end of the lesson. Thanks again for watching, and I hope I didn't offend anybody. If you can think of any more compound nouns or adjectives, then please leave me examples in the comments below, and I'll read them and I'll give you feedback. And if you haven't already subscribed, then please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Goodbye.